we, we're alive. Yeah. <laughs> you look great considering you've been at 30,000 feet in the eye of the hurricane. <gasps> oh, thanks. So tell us, how was it? it we was... should say, for folks who don't know, you were actually with the Hurricane Hunters. Yep. You flew yesterday evening mm -hmm. as it dropped into the 1930s and was still headed down yep. Yep. toward. So you can now say you were in the strongest hurricane ever recorded in the Bahamas. I know it's How not something it? that you want to be excited about because I just it's awful to see the images coming out of the Bahamas. But it's something that like I have idolized these people my entire life, and so being able to sit in the cockpit and have real conversations with these people that's like the biggest thing I think I got out of it. I knew I was going to enjoy the weather side of it and watching that data come in, but. Um, I mean, Biloxi, like, you know how we get recognized, you know, maybe at Publix. These guys are the same way. They are local celebrities around there. Love and it. he said he they wears his work. uniform all the time and does <laughs> school visits. And um, it was just really cool to, to, they live and breathe this kind of stuff. So, yeah. So what about what about just plain raw weather data? What was what was some of the wildest oh, stuff? Well, watching us go in our first pass through the eye, you know, seeing the numbers come in the the low 940s, um, but then and you know it was a little bumpy, and we were expecting that. Otherwise, it was like a the smoothest commercial flight I've ever been on. But as far as the night going on and seeing that lightning and knowing like that's a that's a way these things intensify mm -hmm. and you can just, you know, see it. And then watching that pressure get to about 930 was like, okay, it's actually happening. The meteorology is coming together and it got bumpier and bumpier as well and colder. And mm -hmm. it was just, it was just quite a ride for sure. Yeah. 